Hello, what's good, my YouTube family? So today, I'm going to show you how to scratch and ballet. Okay, so that's why you see the ballet bar behind me. But before we start, I would like to shout out a few people. So the first person I would like to shout out is my girl, Tisha Brown. She is a producer and her, um... I think her company is called Drip Productions. I shared it on Facebook, so if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see it. But I don't, I don't put so much on my timeline, you may not be able to find it. Then the same person I would like to shout out is my girl, Wendy Lucius. That's Wendy with an I, not an E. So, the typical way. My girl, Wendy, she sang. So, currently she's going to have an upcoming, um, you know, I guess an upcoming album, honey. And Y'all got to hear the song. I, I posted that on my timeline as well, child. I like, this, I like that song. Uh, so yeah, my girl, shout out to my girl Wendy. Wendy, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> uh, show me some love. Uh, and then the next person I want to shout out is my cousin Letha Allen. Um, yes, Letha, my cousin Letha Allen just started her YouTube channel, and right now she is at nine subscribers. So y'all go over to her page. It's okay. So it's like the the asterisk bar. I think it's okay. So it's asterisk ma at beauty. And then it's asterisk. So that's how you. That's how you. That's how. That's how the phone said to me. So I'm gonna say it to y'all just like that. Then another person I want to shout out is um, this guy on Facebook named Eric James. Um, he shares a lot of my, my, my videos. And I, I, you know, I'm thankful for that. Like, he literally shares my video. Any video I post on my Facebook, he shares it. So shout out to you, James. I mean, um, Eric James. Um, and I also want to shout out another guy named David Williams on Facebook. Um, I don't know where this just came from, but all of a sudden, he, I just see him posting a whole bunch of things about me on Facebook and things like that. He posted, he posted my flyer that I used to have. I used to have a, a organization called, well, not an organization, but I used to have a, a GoFundMe called Dance Without Limits, but I no longer use that. Um, I no longer, um, like, post on it. It's still out there, but I don't no longer post for that because um, nobody supports the, um, the GoFundMe and things like that. And so, um, if I'm missing anybody, let me know. Like, if you want to shout out, let me know. But, um, that's it for my shout-outs. So, um, let's get started. So, we're gonna, um, Metrazoni is using we're gonna, the battery. um, start Metrazoni. with, um, warming up in our first position. And for those who don't know what the first position is, um, if you go to my previous video, um, Ballet 101, you will see, um, you will see what first position is. I go through all the positions, um, and things like that. So, you will, you will find that out. And things like that. I have other videos, so feel free to look at any of my other videos. Yes, you got a lot of other videos. Yes, I have a video about me doing acro. Girl, you do acro, girl. Yes, I know how to flip as well. Um, I have so many videos. So, um, how to improve your straddle. How to improve your over straddle. I have so many videos. Most of my videos are very intense because I train intensely. But I want people to see dance from a realistic perspective. So, check me out. And, you know, if I don't get to at the end... Hit that like button, okay? Hit that subscribe button and show me some love. So, okay, so this is first position for y'all who don't know. And so we're going to warm up. We're we going to not so much warm up. Yeah, we'll warm up in first position just a little bit. I also have a video about warming up in ballet. So it's called My, my Warms Up. <laughs> I don't know what I was going through. But, yes. So I'm going to turn this way to the bar. And so uh, we're going to warm up, you know, plie. And it, for those who don't know, a PA is two, it's, it's like a two count for a PA. So by the time you get here, it's a two count. And so I'm going to just do ground PA and stuff like that just to open up my hips or whatever. Y'all heard it pop? Yeah. And I'm going to come up or whatever. That's how I'm going to warm up or whatever. And I'm going to do this for a few seconds because it's, you know, even if you just warm up here, like even if you just move your muscles and stuff, like just PA and stuff, it'll help you warm up and stuff like that. Yes. And if you hold it, or oh, whatever. And you come up. So that's how you, that's how I'm warm up in, in ballet. And then I'm going to plie in second position. I'm not going to do all the positions. I'm going to just do first and second position. And stuff like that. You know, just to get our legs warm or whatever. So let me go back to first position or whatever. I'm a, now I'm going to scratch. This is how you scratch in first position, things like that. So I'm going to scratch here. Familiar, huh? I did this before in one of my previous videos. So this is familiar.
and now we're gonna switch over this way. You like I said, you should feel it here. Have a good scratch today, huh? <laughs> so I know today is Wednesday, and I'll post. Metrosoni is using the battery. Metrosoni. I don't know. I just was in the mood to record a video, and so I decided to record a video and stuff. So now we're gonna scratch. And second position. So now you just yeah, you just basically over your leg and scratching this way and things like that. And if you want to do an more of an intense stretch, you just you just you just do fourth arch and you hold it. Sometimes the dance teacher say like releve and bend your knees, but it's basically. The actual time for is force arch and stuff like that. But if you see my last video where I did ballet one on one, what I had put it called more terminology, you will see it. You will, you will see like um, what force arch is and things like that. Oh, I gotta scratch this way. Yeah, I gotta remind me now, honey. And that's it for like the scratches on that. Now we're gonna put our legs on the ballet bar. Yes, we are, honey. So, so now we're gonna face we facing our legs. So that's basically, that's basically how you do a split in reality <laughs> on the bar. Basically, you put you facing your leg and your body is aligned with your toes. So let me back up so you can see it. You can see my toes pointing and stuff like that. And so you're gonna put your arm up here and you're gonna go down. And you're gonna scratch. You wanna turn it. Is it? You gotta turn out. Remember, ballet is the land of turn out, honey. And you wanna feel it all right here. But that's good. Don't bend your knee. And if you like, I said, if you wanna warm this up, you just you just bend it. You bend it. You just plie. I don't wanna say bend it because this is ballet, but you plie in it and stuff like that. But this is how you. But we ain't what we ain't talking about warming up in ballet. So, like, if it hurts when you're trying to scratch and touch your toes, and now we're going to go back. So, you're going to be scratching here. So, that's why I'm going back. And you come up. So, now we're going to face more towards this way. So, basically, you see, we will shift it here. Now, we're going to shift here, right, directly in front of us, right? This is how you work your straddle. This is how you get your straddle in ballet. So... What you're gonna do here, and you know, this in ballet is called souffle. I know in my old video, I called it, um, I no, we're not, yeah, I called it out of this, no, out of this is something else, but this is a souffle. So, but yeah, so we turn we turn this way. You just basically shifting your body from here to here. Metrozoni is using the so battery, you Metrozoni, and you're gonna feel it here, but you reach and you touch your toes. If you want, if you want to, you know, stretch yourself more, you pull yourself here. You pull yourself, and you pull yourself. And then you go this way. And then you, yeah. Like I said, now you're scratching your hip out this way. But you still have your feet turned out. Yeah, it's very difficult. I know. And so, this is how you scratch in the back. You can scratch in the back? Yes. <laughs> so, so you, you would scratch yourself like this. Here. Then you're going to go down and touch the floor. <laughs> you put both hands if you really want to feel the scratch and stuff like that. And I, as you're doing it, you keep yourself, you keep your toes pointed. And you're gonna break your leg down. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the other leg, the opposite leg. Cause I need to get my right from the left. So I'm gonna just say the opposite leg, okay? <laughs> and so, yes. So make sure you turn this, your, your standing leg out. Make sure you, everything turn out. So you turn your left leg out and your, your right, your standing leg. So now we gotta go, gonna go down. Like I said, if it hurt, plie, but it don't hurt to me. So I don't have to plie. 
And you should feel it. And usually, usually when you first start off, just start with this. Because this really does hurt. You start off with this. Maybe. Maybe like 30 seconds. Maybe, no, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie, because I first started off at 10. Because that, this thing usually really used to hurt me. And so we're gonna come up and we're gonna back up like this. You, If you saw my other video, you will see that I had this. And this is basically called Kimbra when you basically stretch into your back, but. You'll see me doing this in another video, but I never gave them a name. But that's because that's how I would warm up and that's how I would. Scratch my body. So we're going to turn our bodies this way. And we're going to scratch, 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 scratch. Touch your toe, touch your toe. Go down to your knee. Keep everything straight. Touch your toe, touch your toe. And you're going to come up. Now you're going to just go this way. Up. Like Metrozoni is here. using the battery. Metrozoni. And let's come up. Oh, I'm about to fall. Let's turn here. And you turn it. You also keep the stimulus scrape. And you turn that out and you go up. Keep the toes pointed. That's on the bar as well. And you go down. Touch your, your toes on the floor. May you touch the flow. Good scratch. You're going to feel it. You should be feeling it here. And relax it. Okay. So remember I showed y'all this in ballet the other day. Where we, we passe and we out. This is how you can scratch it as well. This is how you also can scratch your leg and stuff like that. But you have to hold it. That's how you scratch it. <laughs> to be quite honest, so you have to align your body. And this is what ballet helps with. Aligning your body. Yes. Aligning your body. So you put where you understand the leg. And you out. In, out, in, out, in, out. And you hold it. Hold it. This is how you scratch. And then you... Back down. Then you want the same leg, the opposite, same leg. <laughs> I keep saying same leg. The opposite leg. So out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and then you hold it. Yeah. So now you're gonna do. Now we're gonna do stretches on the floor. Now some of these stretches you probably already seen. You have seen me do, right? I know. But this is where a lot of other dancers get. Uh, their scratches from and stuff like that. So, you know how you you and butterfly. This is how you're gonna scratch your. your this how. But the thing is, I'm not just gonna simply. We're not gonna just simply do butterfly. You will scratch like this. And then we go over to the other side. Yeah, y'all seen these moves before, right? I know. Basically similar. So, similar. <laughs> similar. But this is where this is what every form of dance get like their stretches from. Is is ballet. It's the foundation. It's like the mother of everything. A dance. Metrozoni is using the battery. Metrozoni. And we come up. But see, look. Sometimes my dance teacher, to, 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 for us to actually get it, to work our muscles, our dance teacher would tell us to stay down and keep our legs like this. Y'all see me? I know sometimes when I do when I do this, y'all never see me. So I'm trying to make sure y'all see me. So, but here. But see, look. You stay straight. And then you keep your arms up here. That's, you see the difference? See, remember when I did when I did the regular scratches? I had my hands up there, but I got did I got this from ballet. So I'm gonna just go that and you would go down like this. 
scrape back. But then when you come up, you come up with a scrape back as well. And you go all the way down. Now the, and you come back up the same exact way. You come up slowly. And you come up slow. And you come up slowly. It's like, yes. So that's how you, that's how you, and then, you know, sometimes you flex it. And remember, if you saw my other video about point your toes and flexing, you will see I'm flexing. And you do the same exact thing. But you, this is how you get your flexibility in ballet. It's a difference. <laughs> I love ballet, so I get excited. You're going to feel it even more with this. But that's because you're working muscles that you had never worked before. And come up. When you're in class, your teacher's never going to ask you to do it. Like, for a long time. But when you by yourself, you better push yourself like no, like, 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 like your dance teacher is watching. And that's why I progress the way I progress. Because when I do my stretches, I do it like my dance teacher is um, watching. So now, we're going to lift this leg up and bring it to us. Remember when I said you have to bring your leg to your body? This is basically what I'm doing. I'm bringing my leg to my body. And so this is how you're going to scratch. And you should feel it here. This is how you scratch in ballet, literally. Relax your shoulders, my bad. I got my, my shoulders all high and stuff. So I'll point my toes. I'm going to flex this one. And I'm going to point this one. And I'll break it down. Now I do the other leg. <laughs> And you bring, bring it up, bring it up. You always grab your ankles. You never grab any anywhere else. Otherwise, you're gonna hurt yourself. And to end this segment, we're gonna do. We're gonna open and scratch our scrattle. Familiar, Petrosoni huh? Is using the this is how y'all actually see me scratch. Yes, I do a lot. Let me warm up my middle. Because I always, because this is, I use my ballet stretches to get to the level I want to get to. <laughs> so, let me back up just a little bit so you can see me. Point, no, I'm going to flex, because, I'm going I'm to flex my toes because when you flex your toes, and basically flexing is basically having your feet just in the straight line versus pointing. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you, you would stretch more like that. So, okay, so. My down the middle is warm. And so, uh, I, yeah, I know I'll be forgetting. And so, the re, the re, what's different about this is, okay, so we, we're in a straight line here. But see, y'all yeah, see my arms like this? Your arms are different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you stretch over. I know you felt that thing, right? <laughs> and then you just switch over. I'm flexing, but usually they tell us to point first and then we flex, just so you can feel it even more. And you come up, and look, there's a difference. You put your arms up here, and you literally go down like this. And you control your muscles. And you don't reach. You just keep your hands like, you just keep your hands up here. Up here. And then you, you control yourself as you go down. You see how I'm going slow? You're controlling yourself. And you keep your hands like this. You come up and you work in your core as you do this. And usually when you as you get advanced, you'll be able to go up, down, up, down with no problem. And that's it, y'all.
Hope y'all like the video. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all, if y'all didn't like it before, make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, hey, hey, shout hey, we had 70 subscribers today. I just feel like, I, I forgot to mention that, so forgive me. Um, yeah, we had 70 subscribers, but like I said, our goal is to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you could share my videos, please, please, please share my videos. Don't forget to share this video. I'm not going to emphasize that no more. You're dangerously low on space. So, this may slow down some apps you. and functions. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.